Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is on electric flow boiler this Heat Ray Sadia Amtec so we just arrived on site to find out what the problem is and what we're going to be doing in this video is listening to the customer explaining the problems, what he's got and then we're going to try and figure out what the solution is going to be so Mr Customer, just explain to us what's the problem why you've called us here today so, can you explain what the problem is? So, this plate here, mm -hmm. is, has been changed. Now this plate is a new one, okay? Is that the PCB you're talking? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. this green yeah. plate. Yeah. I don't know how they call it, is the right it's name. It's called a PCB. Okay, PCB, all yeah. right. And that one is a replace it as well. This is the, the brand new... Yeah, timer program. Timer program, yeah. Yeah, so that's been... Re who replaced that? No, 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 no. It's... Uh, my landlord okay landlord replaced it yeah okay but he's not so sure the pump is working we need to check the pumps working and all okay. the system is working no because problem. i've got the hot water now when i press that button here when oh, you yeah. switch on now yeah. the hot water is working yeah but it's out of the boiler okay yeah. i don't know how it's working yeah what's happening here this, uh, is, this is wired direct to the immersion heater yeah. So the immersion heater is heating up this hot water cylinder. So that's how you get your hot water. So that works kind of independent from this flow boiler. Probably. So that's what's work. That's the situation. Anything else you want to tell us? No, I don't know anything else. That's it. Okay. So the main issue is um, you're not getting no heating, I suppose. You're not no. No heating. No, no heating, mate. Because this is not working. Okay. All right, cool. So you get hot water. Yeah, just when I start to use the hot water on the sink down, mm -hmm. just I start to see some noise from uh, from the boiler. You know, it looks like the boiler is keeping the hot water. I don't know because what's happening there when you run the hot water. Yeah, it cools this down. Okay, and it's got a thermostat inside that motor. All right. All so right. the thermostat then kicks in, starts heating up. Okay, this cylinder. Yeah. And then you're getting more hot water. Yeah. And so that noise you can hear, it's heating up as you yeah. draw the water. Yeah. So that's normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Customer. So that's what you have to do. Listen to the customer first, and then you can then start diagnosing from the information what's been said. So if you don't understand the information what's been said, you'll have to ask the customer again just to clarify anything what you're not clear on, and then you can start doing your diagnosis. We're going to look at the boiler a bit more closer inspection. So looking at this PCB, what's interesting, they've got this here, which is not really necessary to have. I've never seen one like that before. Also the PCB, it doesn't look secure. It's not fixed to the pipe. It looks a bit cockeyed. If you look here, very close to this bit, and it tapers away like that, leaning back. So it's not being installed very good. We're just going to check to see if we've got voltage, voltage or not. So that's on there. And let's have a look down there. So we've got, okay, four volts. That's on live neutral. So, sorry, wait. That's it. What's that? Sorry, that was, that was live and neutral. And uh, that's live and earth. Okay, alright, so that's looking alright. Well, if four volts, okay, so it's off. Yeah. What we've done now, we've removed this front bit here, as you can see. So I've got inside, and we're going to just check the resistance reading of the elements. So these are colour coded, you can see the two yellows there at the front. So that's alive and neutral, that, that pair basically. And then the two blues and another pair, and that live and neutral. And then you've got like the pinks. So we'll check, check um, the two yellows. So if you put your multimeter on there, we've got it, our multimeter on resistance. Put the leads on there. Hold them tight on. And then let's just see what we've got here. So yeah, so that's okay, that element. 
at that reading. That's fine. I'm going to remove that strip from the PCB and then remove this front. So if you pull that plug off the PCB, just wangle it off, that's it. Gives a bit more access room. We're now on the blues of as you can see. And we're just going to see what reading we've got. So we're getting 10. So that's a bit low. So let's just make sure we've got a good contact on that. Because you've got to get a good contact to get the reading. It's a bit awkward in there, very confined space. Let's try again. And we've got the same 10. So that element's not as good. Okay, you can release. What we've done, we've removed the plug so we can get better access, you can see. Now, we're doing the blue again, so it's outside, but you can see the black and the red. That's what we're connecting to. That's the blues, but we're actually getting an open line, you can see there. So that's not good. So what I'm now doing, I'm on the pinks, but well, it's difficult for you to see. But if you look at the multimeter, and you can see that reading's out of range, 39. So, you have got problems with this heating element. So my conclusion about this floor boiler is it needs replacing. We definitely have a major problem with this heating element. This PCB is not fitted good. So, I think it's going to want replacing. Okay guys. Yeah, we're okay. Um, basically, with my conclusion is that this wants replacing. Sorry, uh, can I give you to speak with my landlord? Yeah, no problem. We're just finishing off our video. So, yeah, just as, when you're as I said, this was going to want replacing and just telling the tenant what's going on. Um, but yeah, it's the end of the road for this particular unit. So, yeah, we're going to give the good news to the landlord about what needs to be done here's another thing as well look at this it's all moving look at that it's like you're fixed to the wall so i'd love to hear your comments on what you've seen today on our video and it's going to be the end of the row for the boiler and the end of the row for this video as well so if you like what you've seen, or if you want training on electric boilers, gas boilers, heat systems and controls, just click on the link below. You'll see more about what I do in this area. So as I said, that's it from me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.